Be, do, have. And he got that from his mentor. And the first step in this whole process is become, then you do, you take action, and then you have. So be more, do more, have more. And if the people that you are surrounding yourself with aren't helping you be more, to help you do more, you're never gonna have more. What is going on my friends? Welcome back to another episode of The Morning Takeaway. And as we transition into the Inside Influence podcast, today I want to run through something that somebody sent me via Instagram direct messages. It's kind of one of those things, you ever get a message from friends and they always send you stuff on Instagram or something funny and sometimes you just kind of scroll through it and then they ask you later and they're like, hey, did you read that or did you watch the video that I sent you? Like full intention that you're gonna watch it, right? Cause they sent it to you. And you end up just scrolling through and they're like, ah, oh, crap. Actually, no, I didn't. But sometimes some things just catch your eye and you click on them, right? Well, that's kind of what happened. And my friend, knowing that I love quotes, knowing that I love just kind of the, the mindset stuff, sent me this quote and it was, it was a post on Instagram and I was like, whoa, that hits home. And so much so that I am actually putting this out on Facebook today and kind of expanding on it a little. And then I wanted to talk a little bit more on the podcast. So I'm gonna read you the quote and then I'm gonna read you what I'm posting on my Facebook page and then kind of dive into it from there. What you take from it, as you will, I, uh, I hope it's some kind of impact for you. As I always say, if somebody could jump on a camera and a microphone and have an impact on my life, I hope that I could do the same for you. Anybody, just one person. So with that said, as I, oh, it's already pulled up, I forgot. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell me your thoughts, hit that bell icon, so you're the first one to see my videos, end of the YouTube pitch. Here we go. Here is the quote. Most people don't want to be part of the process. They just want to be part of the outcome. But the process is where you figure out who is worth being part of the outcome. So let's read that again. Let's break it down a little. Most people don't want to be part of the process, AKA the journey, whatever goal that you are longing for, whatever you're doing in your daily life that is culminating to a bigger vision. Those people just want to be a part of the, part of the outcome. So whatever that big outcome is, whatever that vision is, when they see that it works out for you, I don't want to use the word successful because the word successful is, defined in a lot of different ways for different people, as it should be. But the process is where you figure out who's worth being part of the outcome. So for you, the person that's pursuing this goal or the person that has this vision that maybe your close friends don't believe in or give you crap about the things that you do on a daily basis to eventually get to your goal or like, why are you so stuck in your ways, right? Like it, that kind of stuff. Like I deal with it all the time with how I eat and how I train and what time I get up and all this, that, and the other. But it's about creating an environment of those people that have the same vision as you, have the same standards, values, wants, needs. And, and they don't necessarily have to be the exact same. My best friend, for example, doesn't have the same like fitness outlook. He moves his body and does things for himself, but he doesn't, you know, he doesn't value getting up at 4.30 a.m. And that's okay, that's, people have different lifestyles, but in the grand scheme of things, the overall vision is supported. And I think that's what I wanna drive home by the end of this podcast is, the people that you choose to surround yourself with is ultimately what creates your vision. Because without people that support you and without people that help you carry out those vision and make you feel confident in your daily routines, your practices, your whatever it might be, that, that all gives you that confidence, right? It gives you that motivation, as I talked about in the last podcast, the, the inspiration to keep going and knowing that you'll be supported is huge. And 
When you have people that are griping at you because you won't go out on a Friday night and you just want to be inside researching or doing something or hey, there's so many different things and ways that you can go about it. Maybe you just want to hang out at home. And if somebody gives you crap for that and tries to, you know, I guess the word peer pressure would be the right way to put it, then maybe they're not aligned with who you are and who you want to be. And my mentor one time told me the, the, the structure of kind of, you know, like becoming, getting what you want out of life essentially. And he talks about be, do, have, and he got that from his mentor. And the first step in this whole process is become, then you do, you take action, and then you have. So be more, do more, have more. And if the people that you are surrounding yourself with aren't helping you be more, to help you do more, you're never gonna have more. And I think that's so powerful. Jim Rohn used to say, I'm sure you, I don't don't know if it was Jim Rohn exactly, but he talks about you are, and I'm sure you've heard this, you are the five people you surround yourself with. And I believe that, I wholeheartedly believe that. The people that you surround yourself, again, create that energy around you and kind of the, 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 the motivation for you, the, or for a better word, motive. They give you that motive to keep going, right? There's, you don't want to be stuck, stuck around energy suckers. You want to be around energy givers. And I think that's where I wanted to read you what I'm exactly word for word posting to Facebook. Um, if I can pull it up, bear with me. But, ah, goodness, I don't really know how to work Facebook all that much. I'm just, I just post, oh, manage post, here we go. So, oh no, 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 no. Okay, well, I don't know, I'm not gonna be able to pick it up. But I talk about in the end of that post, and you can go back and see it, that post will be probably two weeks posted by now by the time this podcast gets out, because I'm filming this in advance, because I'm gonna be traveling quite a bit. But needless to say, I put something in there that with this whole idea of you know having finding the right people to be part of your process so that they can enjoy the outcome with you because they know the blood sweat and tears and the the quote unquote grind that goes into your vision and getting the most out of the goals that you might have whether it's in fitness whether it's in finance whether it's in your relationships whether it's in your your any kind of personal goal that you are supported, right? And when you win, they win. They are excited for you. They they feel your reward. They feel your wins. And where I'm going with this is you might have to make some sacrifices. And I think in terms of the word sacrifice, and this is what I put in the post, in terms of the word sacrifice, quote unquote, you can also look at that from a perspective that that word sacrifice also can mean an investment in yourself. And I think that's where the power of this whole idea comes from. And the the, the constant investments that you're making in yourself to get to that vision, to get to that goal, to carry out your daily practices, to eventually succeed, right? And and again, success can be defined in so many different ways, but without that kind of structural framework of knowing that you might have to invest in yourself and surround yourself with the people that you want to. And those two can go hand in hand and to get together. Maybe you have to sacrifice some people, not cut them out of your life, but maybe just not be giving as much attention to those people as you maybe normally would. Maybe they are the ones sucking you out of your your vision and your, your goals. Maybe they're the ones that you're giving energy to when you could be redirecting that energy to something that you were passionate about in pursuing and putting your energy in to be more, do more, than have more, right? And, and the word have doesn't necessarily mean like have money or riches, right? It's, it's, it's more in the sense of how can you have more contentment, have more fulfillment, have more of what brings joy in the world, right? And I think that's that's probably a good way to wrap this thing up is the idea that you are who you surround yourself with and to be careful who you surround yourself with, right? Like that's, those people 
Some people just wanna see the outcome and don't wanna be part of the process, as the quote says. But those people that you can find and you find out who are there with you along the way, those are your true people, right? And I think there is no, in, there is no new number that equates for, I guess, a one size fits all, but it can be different for everybody, right? Like I, there, there might be two people, there might be three people, some people it might be one person, some people it might be 10. It doesn't matter as long as you are, you can take those bits and pieces from each one, right? And, and don't be afraid to stick up for yourself. When you have those friends that are sucking the energy out of or giving you a hard time for staying in on a Friday night, don't be afraid to speak your mind. Just say, hey man, I'd appreciate, hey, I appreciate if you would respect my decision to stay in tonight, right? I'll, I'll catch you next, tomorrow, right? Like taking those steps for yourself is huge in whatever you want to accomplish, right? It's, it comes out of a sense of self-respect, self-care, self-improvement, self-growth, all of the above, and to ultimately get to that, 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 that vision, right? And I use that word a lot, but it is. You should be visualizing what you want or to have more, right? And in the first step of it all, it's becoming more. So I think that's a good way to wrap it up. Sorry if I was ranting a little, but felt pretty good about that one in the sense of my passion and where I stand because I've experienced that in all facets and a lot of friendships. So anyways, let's wrap this thing up with a random question generator. Who is someone you recently thought about that you haven't seen or talked to in years? Whoa, that's crazy. Um... <laughs> Not years, but I, I I don't know. We're gonna do a new one. I mean, to answer that in the short term, I was actually thinking about my buddy that is in the quote unquote influencer world, social media content creations, like a few month, a few weeks ago. I was like, oh, I should give him a call, and he Facetimed me today. It was kind of weird, but anyways, I don't know. One of my childhood, like elementary school. I don't know. Why did Why does anybody care to hear me answer that? Um, do you believe there is only one other person in the world for you or many? Whoa, that's deep. I think the people that, you, this is this plays hand in hand. I think the people that are quote unquote for you are the people that bring you the most value. I think they're gonna be many, right? And that's not in the sense of relationship, it's friendships. It's everybody brings a different piece of value to your life, whether it's your, whether it's humor, whether it's, going out and being social, whether it's um, somebody that you were able to vent to, somebody that you're able to, you know, love and, you know, that's, there's so many different little aspects. So I think in the terms of that question, it's kind of loaded, but that'd probably be my best, deepest answer for you. So that is going to do it for today's podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. hope you took something away. If you did, if you don't mind sharing this episode with somebody that you love, maybe it's one of your friends. I don't know. That's the best way that you can help me out is by sharing these episodes. Maybe one day I'll have these things on Spotify and Apple Music and whatnot, but we'll see. I don't know. With that said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Have an awesome freaking day, and don't forget to smile.